Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the home screen tricks on the Redmi 15C. Alright, so let's begin. To open up the home screen uh, menu settings, and we need to hold on the free space that we have on our home screen. Just like that. And from here, for example, we can select a new wallpaper. In here we have a whole shop uh, from which we can uh, download or buy the wallpapers. As you can see, we have a long, long list. And I'm sure that all of you can find something for yourself. Uh, some of those uh, wallpapers might uh, need payment. Uh, so be aware of that. Let's go straight now into the effects. And in here, for example, when, when it comes to the wallpaper effects, uh, we can blur our wallpaper. You can see now the difference when it's on and when it's turned off. So it basically blurs our uh, wallpaper. Now let's go into the widgets. They're also really, really cool and useful. And in here we have a whole a list of apps of which we can uh, create a widget. Mm, below each each widget uh, we have its size so for example this one from youtube music is four on two so it requires uh, a lot of uh, free space on your home screen uh, so let's create a new widget for example from the chrome let's select that one chrome dino and as you can see it says it's not enough space on this page on this home screen to create it so we can drag it and place it for example in here release your finger and now it has been successfully placed. Of course, we can also change its position a little bit. For example, in here. And if you want to save it, click on done. And now our widget has been successfully set. When I click on that, the Chrome launches. And the game should launch yeah so we have a quick way how we can uh, enable the di dino gameplay all right so that's an example of the widget let's go now again into the settings hold on the screen and now let's select the settings from here and for example we can change the transition effect uh, so currently we have the slide, which is the basic one, but we have, for example, crossfade, tumble, page, cascade, rotate, or the cube. Uh, so first let me show you how the normal uh, option uh, works. So that's the normal uh, transition effect. Now let's change it for something else. For example, maybe the tumble. Click on done. And now, as you can see, the transition has been saved so we can adjust it into our own preferences and pick between one of those modes in my opinion this looks really really cool let's go back into the settings i'll select the normal one for now we can also set the default screen which uh, want uh, which we want to be the default one we can uh, select that one or that one it's up to you okay we can also enable or disable to fill cells of uninstalled apps you can enable it or disable it and for example we can lock home screen layout so for example now when I want to uh, change uh, the position of uh, of the app it should go back into its place as you can see I cannot even move it as you can see on, on the bottom home screen layout is locked so I cannot uh, change the position of the apps it is uh, It's impossible when this mode is on. Also, when we click on more, we can change the home screen uh, style. It can be classic with app drawer or in the light mode. You can pick between those modes. We also have minus one screen. Uh, minus one screen stands for that, uh, that from the basic uh, and the main home screen. When we slide to the left side, uh, something will launch. Currently, we have the Google Discover. I'll go to the left side. And the Google appears. Now let's change it into something else. For example, the App Vault. 
I'll go to the left side and now we have the app vault instead of our Google. There is also uh, an option for uh, minus, uh, minus one. Uh, I mean turn off a minus one screen and then when I'll uh, slide to the left side nothing will happen. So you can pick the thing that you want. I'll stick to the Google Discover. Also we can change the action for swipe up on the home screen. So now when we swipe up it will open up the content center. We can also set it on none or on the search for example. So I'll slide to the upside. Boom. The search app appears. And now we are in the Google. Let's go back now into the content center, for example. And now it launches. Okay. Back into the settings. Home screen. Mm, I have shown you uh, that. We can also select uh, the swipe down on the home screen, for example, to launch the app finder, or for example, we can change it into the notification shade and control center. We have also possibility to change the home screen layout. And in here, down below, we have three modes. So we have five on nine, four on six, uh, four on seven, and four on six. Uh, now, for example, when we have five on nine, uh, we can uh, place more uh, icons on our home screen because the icons are simply smaller and we have more space so if you want you can apply it i'll stick to the normal one four on seven in my opinion it's the best all right and also below you can change the system navigation method it can be gestures or the buttons and you can also enable to show memory status Alright, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.